Introducing Thinking It Through Wins and Wisdom Conversations on The Robin Graham Show. Hey friend, we're doing something new and I'm thrilled to share it with you. How would you like to be featured on a top 1% globally ranked podcast and ask a burning question about growing your business? This is your time to shine and to tell my community how you get wins for your clients and to pick my brain, so to speak. I'll answer your question and you and your business get a major shout out. It's a win-win. You've got nothing to lose. To take advantage of this unique, rewarding, and limited time opportunity, go to bit.ly B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash thinking it through to apply today. The link is in the show notes. Welcome to The Robin Graham Show, the go-to podcast for Christian entrepreneurs and business owners who want success without social media. Are you tired of hearing you must be on social media, posting at just the right time, and constantly selling in the DMs to grow a successful business? Are you sick of spending countless hours producing valuable content with little to nothing to show for it? Worse yet, are you fed up with imposter syndrome that inevitably comes from time spent scrolling on social media? No wonder you procrastinate. But I've got great news. There is a better way to grow your business. Hey friend, I'm Robin Graham, a Christian business coach and marketing strategist specializing in growing a successful business without social media. I'm also the author of You, Me, and Anxiety. The Robin Graham Show is a podcast for faith-based business owners and entrepreneurs who want to follow their God-led calling and uncover joy, purpose, and passion in their life and business while having an impact and making money. Each week, I'll teach on how to grow your business without social media, in addition to various topics and strategies that you can employ to do so. Think how-tos like marketing, SEO, personal branding, PR, email marketing, and sales strategies. Tech tools, systems, processes, and automation, the -the behind-the-scenes stuff you need to simplify. And strategies to recognize and navigate mindset barriers and anxiety. I and my guests will give you the best advice to help you create the life and business of your dreams, with a healthy dose of Jesus, of course, so that you can build a solid foundation for your business and create a lifetime of limitless earning potential while fulfilling your purpose and creating a ripple effect of good in the world. If you're tired of overthinking and doing all the things with minimal results, you're in the right place. I'm all about simplicity, ease, and grace while having fun, creating an impact, and making money. Subscribe for new content every week. And be sure to visit therobingraham.com forward slash resources to download free resources to help you grow your business for limitless earning potential. And if you want, email us at theteam at therobingraham.com. We open all of our emails and would love to hear from you. Tell us what your struggles are, your challenges, or just say hi. Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of The Robin Graham Show. Today, we're going to talk about how every effective marketing strategy begins with a unique personal brand. It's been a while since I talked about personal branding. I have been focusing more on the marketing aspect and the faith aspect and the no social media aspect. But whether you're on social media or not, you do need a personal brand. And today we're going to dive into why you need a personal brand, what that is, and how that influences your marketing. So it's important to note that if you want to effectively market your business, you must create a unique personal brand. We have to add the word unique in there for a reason, because you want to stand out. The truth is, Every effective marketing strategy begins with a unique personal brand. The reason is you must control the perception others have of you. And that means you must differentiate yourself to build trust and stand out. Do I need a personal brand to create an effective marketing strategy? It's a question I often hear from both service and product-based business owners. If you've asked this question, you can be assured that the answer is a resounding yes. So what is your personal brand? Your personal brand 
is what other people think, say, and feel about you. It's the perception they have of you when you walk in a room, when you are seen online, or when they consume your content. Branding encompasses your personal brand and how you communicate what differentiates you from all others in your area of expertise or your niche. Your brand identity, which is your color palette, topography, and visual presence, help you become recognizable and memorable. But your personal brand is what makes you recognizable, memorable, and shareable. The answer to the question, do I need a personal brand, is therefore not related to you creating brand assets. Your brand assets will not solely differentiate you from all others in your niche. They may help you stand out when your soulmate clients are scrolling. However, they will not build the emotional connection that differentiates your, that differentiates you as a personal brand. Throw your personality into it. That's the key. People want to get to know you and see who you really are. We've talked about this before on the show. Do you have to get completely vulnerable? Heck no, you don't. But you do have to let people see inside of your personality a little bit about you, how you work, what your why is, and all those juicy nuggets that help them emotionally connect with you. Your soulmate client is going to connect with you emotionally better and differently than they do with other people who are in your same area of expertise. And that is the most important thing you can remember is that differentiating yourself is going to build that emotional connection so that people will trust you. And since trust determines buying practices, it's super important to build that. Since every effective marketing strategy begins with a unique personal brand, it's important to know as much as possible about creating your unique personal brand. I'm going to refer you back to episode 248 of the show for more on content creation to differentiate yourself. In addition, episode 205 has a lot of details for creating a unique personal brand. So those two episodes combined will give you a plethora of information on how you can really dive into outlining your personal brand and making sure you do stand out as unique so that your soulmate clients can find you and that everything you put out there will resonate with them. Once you establish your personal brand, you're ready to begin marketing your business. Marketing is communicating what differentiates you from all others in your area of expertise. When you create your personal brand, you're identifying all of the things that differentiate you, that make you unique. If you doubt that you're unique, make a list of all your experiences, good and not so good, and how they've led you right to where you are today. Doing so will help you market yourself as an expert. Let's face it. God's given you a unique journey, something you've experienced things that not everyone in your area of expertise have experienced. Not only that, but he gives you a different perspective, different insight on solving problems and doing what you do so that it is unique and that your soulmate clients will see that you are the person who is there to help them. To create an effective marketing strategy, map out your who, what, when, where, and how. Let's break them down. Who is your soulmate client? In addition, who are you? Both are significant when creating an effective marketing strategy. If you don't know what differentiates you, you can't effectively communicate with your soulmate clients to tell them about why they should hire you. Likewise, If you don't know your soulmate client, you won't be speaking to those people who need your expertise the most and who will want to hire you or who you are. Next is what. What are your soulmate client's major pain points that you can help resolve? Can you define what keeps them up at night? What are they thinking about when doing the dishes or getting dressed that they cannot solve for themselves, but you can solve and do so in a very unique way? 
In addition, what platforms are they using to search for the information they need to get the results they want? What platforms are you creating content for? Is there an overlap? What changes do you need to make to reach your soulmate clients? Lastly, what is your price point for your offer or your program? When is the third? When are you available to serve your clients? Elaborate on when they need you most and when you learned how to provide the solution they need. Likewise, when have you experienced their pain points yourself? Even more importantly, when and how did you overcome them? Next is where. Where in your journey have you experienced what your soulmate clients are experiencing now? The beginning of your journey or more recently? Where do you serve your clients? In person, online, locally, or internationally? In addition, where will you market to your soulmate clients? Where are they researching to find the solution to their problems? For example, if you're an entrepreneur who doesn't want to be on social media, my hand is raised there, where will you share information? On your blog, via email marketing, or a different platform, in person maybe. There is, this is where SEO will come or become a key component of your effective marketing strategy. If people are searching on Google, you better have an SEO strategy. Even a social media account can be great, but you still need search engine optimization on your website for social media to work. You also need to use keywords and key phrases on social media to drive traffic to your website. So SEO becomes extremely important as part of your effective marketing strategy. Next up is why. Why do you do what you do? Is there a reason you help whom you help? Simon Sinek explains using his golden circle that why is more important than how and what. That people resonate more with why you do what you do than what you do or how you do it. Know your why. And your why is going to go deeper than because I want to be around for my kids or I want to be an inspiration for my kids. Your why has to go so deep that people will think, oh my gosh, her why resonates with my why. Her why is shining through everything she does. I can see how much she's passionate about following her calling and her purpose and helping other people. Make sure your why is front and center. It truly will help you develop that emotional connection and trust with your soulmate clients. Last up is how. The only word that doesn't begin with a W. How do you help your soulmate clients get the results they crave? Do you have a proven method or system? Like me, mine is the purpose to results method, success without social. Likewise, how do you do what you do? Elaborate on your background, skill sets, education, certifications, awards, life experiences, and mistakes you've learned from. All of those juicy things that have helped you develop the how you do what you do. That help you help others. In addition, in addition to that, think about testimonials. They will help elaborate on how you've helped others get the results that they desired. The bottom line is, yes, you need a personal brand and an effective marketing strategy. And the two play off of each other. So if you're still asking if you need a personal brand, the answer is still a resounding yes. And even if you are a product-based business, you need a personal brand. You are a personal brand that will be the foundation of an effective marketing strategy, including your who, what, when, where, why, and how. All right, you guys, I have included some links in the show notes, and I want to emphasize what they are. So first and foremost, 
there is a free ebook on the website, therobingraham.com forward slash resources. You can click the link in the show notes for all of the links that I included in the show notes and on the blog post that will take you to additional resources on personal branding and how to create your own unique personal brand. There's also a free video on SEO strategy. It's an intro to SEO. It's really simplified so that you can follow along and start implementing an SEO strategy if you haven't already. And again, the link to that is the robingrahamcom forward slash resources. And lastly, don't forget about the thinking it through wins and wisdom conversations that you can apply to be featured on. Think of it as free PR. You get exposed to my audience, share how you create wins for your clients and you get to ask a question about growing your business without social media. I'm here for you and I can't wait to see what questions you pose to me. All right, you guys, this is a wrap for this week's episode. I look forward to seeing you back here next week. If you would be so kind to leave a rating and review, if you found this information helpful, if you plan to implement any of these strategies, please leave us a rating and review because that is how we grow. That is how we continue to rank globally as well as reach more people, which means we help more people. And you know, I'm all about creating that ripple effect of good in the world. So if you could just help do that, that would be amazing. Until next time. Growing a successful business can feel intimidating and overwhelming, but it doesn't have to. Hi, I'm Robin Graham. And as a marketing and lead generation strategist, I am here to help you grow your business with simplicity, ease, and grace. Whether you are just starting out or you've been working to grow your business but haven't made traction, I will help you get the results you want. Using my purpose to results method will uncover your blocks and I'll teach you a step-by-step approach to grow your business in a way that makes sense and allows you to feel confident in following your God-led calling. The core of the purpose to results method is this formula, mindset plus strategy plus action equals results. For mindset, we use my situational mind modeling for clarity, confidence, and connection with purpose and impact. For strategy, we use my simplified sustainable strategy model to achieve a solid foundation for long-term success by using strategies that embody SEO systems and processes and simplify your business. And for action, we use the accountability framework to ensure consistent execution to achieve results. You don't have to be a six-figure entrepreneur to implement strategies, systems, and SEO, and you don't have to fear those things either. I'll help you map out strategies that work, help you create the processes you need and teach you how to use SEO to get found and ranked on Google. When we work together, you won't need to overthink. There will be no backpedaling and you'll get to have an impact and make money faster and have a lifetime of earning potential. You and your business become my priority. How does that sound? Are you ready to feel calm and confident as you grow your business? If you're a result and impact driven entrepreneur who's tired of doing the same things repeatedly with minimal results, I invite you to schedule a discovery call with me. Go to https colon forward slash forward slash bit.ly bit.ly forward slash discover with Robin to schedule. The link is also in the show notes. The time is now. The people who need you are ready to find you. And that's a wrap, friends. A heartfelt thank you for being here. I know there are many other ways that you could spend your time, so I truly appreciate you joining me. If you enjoyed this episode and found the information helpful, please take a moment to subscribe and leave a rating and review. Ratings and reviews are how we grow and get amazing guests and how more people find the show. A kind review would mean the world to me. Oh, and don't forget to share the episode with someone that it will help. And let's connect. You can find me on Pinterest and LinkedIn as therobingraham.com. And be sure and visit the website, therobingraham.com forward slash resources for a plethora of resources to help you grow your business for long-term success. Until next time, remember to smile. Smile.